morning to you. My name is Stefan. I'm the pastor at Mount Elim Church here in Ponte Dawe. Today we're looking at friendship. I wonder what comes to mind when you think of friendship. Hopefully you've got a, a friend or a group of friends and you think of them. But the most important word linked with friendship is love. And in the New Testament, love is described for us in the Bible. Love is patient, we are told. Love doesn't give up on people. We are patient. We do not lose our temper. It is not easily angered. That we don't sulk. We don't keep a record of wrongs. Do you do that sometimes? We remember all the bad things someone has done against you. And when you lose your temper, they all come out and you list all the things that they've done. Love is patient. It tolerates, even when there are disagreements, when there are different views, when there are different beliefs. We still love one another. We persevere. We are faithful. We are not self-seeking, but we put the other person first. We love people. This is what it means to be a good friend, to care for people, to be there for them, whatever they are going through, when things are going well, when things are not going well that we are there for them in every situation. But who should we love? Well, Jesus shared a parable, a story about a man who helped someone else who was in need. And this shows us who we should love. A Jewish man was walking along the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. It was a long and arduous, hot and dry journey he was on his own he was attacked by a group of robbers they stripped him of his clothes they beat him up they stole all of his possessions and they left him there on the side of the road he was in a hopeless and helpless situation two people came the first was a priest a jewish priest and you'd have thought that he might come and help this man but he crossed the road the second man was a levite he worked in the temple also a religious man and he was also jewish but he too crossed the road neither of these men wanted to help perhaps they were embarrassed by the sight of this hopeless man perhaps they didn't want to be associated with him perhaps they were too busy perhaps they thought that they were too religious to get involved perhaps they thought this person is beneath us whatever the reason they crossed the road and neither the priest nor the levites religious people who should have known better fellow jewish people they walked by and did not help the man who was in a hopeless and helpless situation well thankfully a third man came but he was a Samaritan, a sworn enemy of the Jewish people. The rivalry was intense between the Samaritans and the Jews, and they said terrible things about each other. If the Levite and the priest are not helped, surely the Samaritan would not come and help. But he saw the man in need, and he went to him. He bandaged his leg. He poured oil to heal the wounds. He strapped him up. He gave him clothing and put him on his donkey. And they went to a inn, a bit like behind me here. And he paid for his accommodation for two nights, gave him enough food. And so the good Samaritan came and helped the man who was in need. Some people are only friends. And they only care for the people who are just like them. People who have the same hobbies or interests. People who look like them or sound like them. People with the same personality or the same background. And they're only friends with people who are just like them. But that parable given by the Lord Jesus of the Good Samaritan reminds us that we should be friends with everyone. It doesn't matter what they look like or sound like or even what they believe that even when there are disagreements, we should still love everyone and care for them and be friends. 
The Lord Jesus himself was a perfect example of this. As Jesus died on the cross, he prayed, Father, forgive, for they do not know what they do. He loved even the people who crucified him, the people who sent him to the cross, those who killed him. And during his life, he was friends with everyone. He showed care and compassion for the people that others looked down on. And he showed his love for the world in being willing to die on the cross for our sins. Can I encourage you, pupils and students of Kuntawa School, to know true friendship, to realise that Jesus shows us the perfect example of friendship and love in his life, in his death and resurrection, and that we can be friends and we can love people around us, those that others might look down on, those who might even disagree with, but we can be friends with them and we can show them true love.